Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass. And today we're going to cover how to write product descriptions that convert. These are for your product pages, for your homepage. And the idea is to write a description that's enticing enough to get the customer to go from, hey, I just saw this product to, hey, I want to purchase this product. Before we dive into it, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. The first step we're going to cover today is to focus on the buyer. So focusing on the buyer means understanding who your customer is, their persona, their likes, their interests, the language they use. You really want to figure this out beforehand, such as, for example, if you're a jewelry store and you're selling to maybe a middle-aged woman, younger woman, you want to really look at who that customer is, take time to determine for it, and figure out how they speak and what language they use so you can write your product descriptions accordingly. This is crucial because a lot of different people have certain terminology they use based on their demographic and their interests. And if you can appeal to that, understand it, and throw those words in there, it's going to show that your brand really cares about this person or the persona, that you understand their problems, you're understanding how it's going to benefit them, and you can entice them more by speaking in a language that they understand. The second tip we have here is benefits, not features. The best example of this is the original iPod slogan. Instead of running storage for one gigabyte of MP3s, they changed it to 1,000 songs in your pocket. They didn't focus on the features of the storage, of how many songs they could play, on how many could hold. They focused on the benefit to the consumer. And this is what you need in your product descriptions to help customers get over the hump to understand and reason why they should purchase your product. You don't want to list things like the weight, the size, the height. I mean, they're important and you can include them at the bottom, but you really want to show why your product is beneficial. Rather, you want to show your customers how it makes them feel happier, healthier, and more productive, how it benefits them, not simple facts about the product. The third tip we have here is problem then solution. This has to do with the overall structure of your product descriptions. You don't want to come out of the gate right away and say how this product is going to benefit them if the customer doesn't have the problem. Because if you're not solving anything, then they're going to have no need to purchase your product. So a way to do this is to emphasize the problem. Let's say the customer is a teenager and they have really bad skin and they're looking to clear their skin up with some acne treatment. So what you could do there is you could emphasize the problem. You can get into the customer's mind of what it feels like to have acne, how insecure it makes them feel, how they would love their appearance to improve. You can hone in on that, describe that problem to them, make the customer go, oh yeah, I have this problem. I really don't like it. I'm very incentivized to get rid of it. And then you say, oh, hey, here's my solution. This is gonna solve your problem exactly. And it's gonna meet that demand because that problem is gonna create that anticipation and the desire to get rid of it. So when you come in with your solution in your copy, it's gonna hook them in and entice them to purchase your product. The fourth tip we have here is appealing to their imagination. Make the customer feel the way they're gonna feel when they use your product. If you were to take an example of a barbecue, let's say you're selling a barbecue and this barbecue lets you grill meat better, faster, and it tastes better. Tell a story of how the customer is gonna be the hero of the barbecue. They're gonna be that amazing dad or the amazing mom who's cooked this amazing feast for everyone. Everyone's gonna to come to them and say, hey, I really liked your food. How did you do that? Show me how, and you're gonna have the opportunity to feel great because you did something special for everyone. Tell that story, put the customer in the story, in the journey. You really wanna show them starting the journey, maybe they have an issue, and maybe this product brings them the solution and brings them over the hump, getting to that final crescendo, and it makes them feeling amazing about their purchase. So picture that for them, describe it for them, tell a little story, and make them understand what they can feel and what others will feel about them when they have your product. The next tip we have here is creating a story. It's creating a story around your product and around your brand so the customer has something emotional to identify with when purchasing your product. A really great example of this is Wealth Simple in one of their YouTube ads. They tell this story about Jimmy, who is this nerdy kid who spent all his free time looking at stocks, investing, creating spreadsheets. Since he grew up, he continued to invest in stocks, make money. He worked on Wall Street, made a lot of money. He realized, why do only certain people get the chance to invest in stocks and get all this information? So he created a product to help everyone. No matter what your economic wealth was, you get the chance to invest just like everyone. And that was the inspiration for Wealth Simple. And telling that story helps you identify with the brand. And say, hey, I like what he stands for, the opportunity he's giving everyone. I should use Wealth Simple. And you can do that really well with your products as well. A lot of brands will have brand stories attached to how they were founded, why they were founded. For example, we recently looked at a company and they sell almonds. 
instead of just saying we sell almonds, they created the story around it. And it's very inspirational because it started off with one of their friends who sadly passed away at a young age. And so the family had were together and they were talking and they decided that they wanted to spend more time together and they didn't know how much time they had left as a family. So they wanted to start a business together so they could spend more time together. The next tip we have here is social proof. This one is having reviews on your website and it's to really tell what your product is like in the customer's own words. You could do this through testimonials. You could have their image and have a nice little quote in the product description. You could also have a review app on your website, which you should already at this point. And this will help customers understand the product, see what's good about it, see what's bad about it, and gives them that trust and security in your brand by having reviews. And the last tip we have today is to make your description scannable. This means formatting your descriptions in a way with bullet points, with check marks, with maybe emojis to make it really easy to read and understand the gist of it without having to read all the detail. Maybe you have your problem, your solution, then your benefits, but your benefits might be bullet pointed. So if the person doesn't necessarily want to read the beginning of it, it can go straight to the benefits, understand exactly what the product's about, how it's going to make them feel, what it's going to do for them. It makes it a lot easier to digest because as we know, customers come from all over the place. They're on the web, at home maybe, they're on the computer, taking the time to look through products, or maybe they're on the go and they're just scrolling through things really fast on Facebook and they want to get a clear understanding of what the product is about. This concludes the video on how to write product descriptions that convert. This is going to greatly help all your products on your Shopify store and help boost those sales. In summary, the six tips are, one, you want to focus on the buyer, use the language that they use, understand your customer's persona. The second one is benefits, not features. Don't talk just about the characteristics of your product, but how it's going to benefit the customer. The third one is to state the problem, then the solution. This is getting your customer to feel the problem, then providing that immediate relief with the solution. The fourth one is to appeal their, to their imagination. Tell the customer a story on how they're going to feel when they use their product, how they're going to picture themselves, how they're going to be so much better off than they were before. The fourth one is to create a story around your product and your brand. This means creating something for the customer to get attached to emotionally. This is, it can be a story about how you found it. You're out there to make the world a better place, not just to make money. You want to create a story around the entire thing. Fifth one is social proof. This is through quotes, testimonials, and reviews. This helps create trust with the consumer that your brand is legitimate, that you actually ship their products and the products are as they are described. The sixth one is to make your description scannable. This means using bullet points, maybe emojis, bold, different fonts, different headers. You want to make it easy to read and get a gist of exactly what the product is without having to read the entire thing. This concludes the video on how to write products that convert. I hope you liked it. If you haven't yet, click that like button. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe.